It's a beautiful bacon day, Cookie Crusaders. Today we're going to be doing the Guild Gotcha. I've saved up a hundred thousand treasures to show you what a huge pull is going to be, and let's see what we can get. And what, let's look at our percentages. We have the probabilities to get Cream Puff. We've got our max, so that would just be great mileage. We could get the Insignia and the Booksellers Monocle at one percent. We do need more of those to max those out, and that would really help out a couple of our different teams in the PvP arena. And then, of course, your standard wins. All of these are going to really be helpful. I, I won't be sad about any of these because I can use all of them. So none of them are a waste to me. This guild gotcha has all awesome potential prizes. So we're going to go ahead and use the draw all button. 10,000. So we get 10 good draws. And we'll see what we get. Draw number one. 10 minutes speed up. Hardy Hazelnuts. Flame of Unity level 2. Oh, we got a good one. We got an Insignia. That's a good... And another one right back to back with the level 5 Unity. Good start. Unity level 3. Another level 2. Some Kiwi toppings. They're small, so we'll break them down. We got some topping pieces. That's helpful. Oh, here's a good one. And we got a cream puff. That's 800 mileage points right there since we maxed her out. That is awesome. Thank you for coming home. What else we got? Level 3 unity. Okay. 10 minutes speed up. Searing raspberry. XP jellies. I need more of those. 10 minutes speed ups. We're going to be able to bypass some of our upgrades that we're doing with these speed ups. Oh, another 10 minute speed up. Oh, here's a good one. Aura Pillar. We need that. We need more of that. A lot more of that. Upgrades are getting much more expensive. What do we got? Another Aura Pillar. I'll take it. We like it. Love it. Alright. Come on. Big money. No whammies. No whammies. Unities. Unities. XP jellies. Another big one. Topping. Hey, topping pieces. Those are, those are rarities to come by sometimes. Bouncy Caramel Small, we'll break that down for pieces. Unity. Another Unity. Oh, level 4, okay. Another one. We're definitely going to be upgrading the guild a little bit today. Level 4. More topping pieces, I'm happy about that. Here's a big one. Aurora Bricks, nice. We got a Walnut Topping. We got some more unity. More unity. 30 minute speed up. Ooh, stepping up. 17 jellies. More unity. More unity. I think I'm seeing a recurring theme here. <laughs> All right, star jellies. Oh, here's a good one. Flame unity level five. All right. XP jellies. Another good one. Oh, another insignia. Nice. Unity. Unity. Every time we get an insignia, we're getting closer and closer to maxing out our T19, which I would really love. So if I can just get all the luck for the insignia to just keep coming home, I will take it. I will take it all day. 13 jellies. Unity level 2. Topping pieces. More. Another good one. Hard Walnut, we'll take that. We need more Walnuts for research. Pieces, good, good. Oh, here we go. Caramel, yes, we need more Caramel for attack speed testing. We gotta get more attack speed on different cookies, test them out, see what we can pull. More jellies, great. More jellies. Here's a good one. Is it another, is it another cream puff? We got another cream puff. Whoa, -hoo -hoo -hoo. epic! Another 800 mileage. It's gonna be great for the treasure tickets because coming up when the new caramel arrow update happens, we're gonna be pulling for more treasures at that point. If there's a new one, if there's not, that's fine. I want to just try and max out some of my other epic treasures so that way. At that point, when we do go for new treasure pulls, then everything is just free mileage for other things. We got a soul stone, so that's more free mileage. 
I'm, I'm actually pretty excited and happy that we got two full cream puffs before we even got a soul stone. So I'm not, I'm not upset about that at all. Unity level one, level one, level one. That's three in a row. That's good luck, right? <laughs> level two, okay. Small, that's a breakdown. Level one, we'll upgrade the guild as much as we can today. 10 jellies, we'll take it. 10 minutes speed up, always helpful. More jellies, we're gonna be we're gonna be upgrading cookies, we're gonna be upgrading topping pieces, we're gonna be upgrading the guild. Look at that, more mileage, more soul stones. We're gonna be upgrading many different things. Helps further the research every time. Tell you what though, saving for 100,000 uh, torches was not easy. Even being in a 1% guild, it took I think three and a half weeks to save that many torches. So our full total result at the end was two cream puffs, four soul stones, two insignias, a couple medium toppings, a couple level five uh, upgrade unities, a couple of almost each pillar, and then a variety of some of the other things, which I'm not too upset about. Now to spare you the time watch, we're gonna go ahead and skip the animations for these and just see how our luck fares out. All right, and we'll alter it. We'll do a couple skips and a couple watches. So we got a monocle that time, a full cream puff, another insignia, a lot more medium toppings this time. So this, this was a better pull this time, but we skipped the animation. So does that make the difference? Let's find out. We're gonna watch this one and we're gonna see if watching the animation or skipping the animation does better for us. Because the first time we had some good pulls, but for whatever reason, oh well, pfft, I stand corrected. Maybe just the more we pull, the better our luck gets, because four times in we got a cream puff already. <laughs> we are definitely getting our mileage today. All right, keep it going. A lot of people like to do the skip animations. Some people like to watch it out to see if their luck changes. I don't know of a way to necessarily rig the system, but it's always interesting to try. We have enough torches to definitely give that a shot. But we will see at the end if our luck was better with a regular pull watching all the animations together, or if skipping does better. But we are on cream puff number two, and we're only like 12 pulls in. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. If she wasn't already maxed, I think after this she would be. <laughs> Let's see how far we get though. Can we get two more full cream puffs in this pull? I'll, I'll make a deal. If we get 10 more full cream puffs in total, maybe we'll just pull the treasure tickets today. We'll see if we can get enough. We got Unity level 2, Unity level 3, level 3, another level 1, level 3. Come on, give us some good stuff. Give us the really good stuff. We need those jellies. We need those topping pieces. We need that insignia. We need that monocle. We want to upgrade these things. Bring it home. Bring it home. Level 3s. Level threes, level twos. I think it'd be pretty nice and pretty wild if they added the higher level five and I think level six EXP jellies into Guild Gotcha. That'd be really nice. That'd be some pulls I'd be very excited about. There we go, we got a monocle. I'm happy about that. Jellies level two, level three. No more cream puffs coming. Or a compass, okay. I guess the guild gotcha doesn't want me to pull from the treasure tickets today. It's like, you don't get any more cream puffs. We got you a couple. That's good enough. Bounce of caramel. Topping pieces. Solid almonds. Flame of unity, okay. Or brick, we, we need plenty of those, so that's fine. Flame of unity. Jellies, 
Who's excited for the Caramel Arrow update on the 25th? I know I am. Just especially because of the Guild Gotcha update. Um, the, the, the Guild Chat, that update will be super helpful because sometimes it's a little hard to get people into Discord and communicate there. So it's really nice that we might be able to have a smoother form of communication for Guild. Um, so I'm looking forward to what that changes. I'm also interested to see what the changes that we can do the resource production with one button. It was a little confusing when I read that because I wasn't sure if they were saying you could just assign with one button all the resources you wanted to produce in one button or if it's more replacing the hold down button on each resource. I, I wasn't too clarified on that so I, I'm hoping that it's just set up a full queue off one button. That would be very nice. Um, but I'm not certain not very certain because they didn't really detail too much so i'm looking forward to what that change could be on the 25th what is it that you're looking most forward to i'm guessing that it's caramel arrow but maybe there's something else you're looking forward to maybe episode 14 maybe you're just really wondering how the cliffhanger ends in that episode and what we're going to have entailed or maybe you're excited about the dragon-like creatures that we saw that looks like they should be the bosses in that episode. Those I'm definitely excited about. We have not had too many good pulls in the last, like, 20 pulls. We did get a soul stone there, so... Alright, Gil gotcha trying to take my words from me. Or compass, okay. So, so far it seems the skip seems to have been doing better for the Gil gotcha. And I'm not sure why. But we'll test that again. We did get two cream buffs, so it wasn't that we got nothing. But we got more epic pulls in our last pull when we did the skip. So let's go ahead and do that. We're just going to skip this. We got two monocles and an insignia. That's a really good pull. And two level five uh, flame unities. We did only get soul stones of strawberry. Sorry, cream buff, not strawberry. But... That's still acceptable. This time, no treasures. No cream puff total, just soul stones. More medium toppings. So that one that one was a rough pull. That was like the lowest of odds we could have had. Ooh, we got two monocles and an insignia this time. No cream puff at all, but I'm not necessarily mad about that. We got another monocle. Getting closer to getting that upgraded. Definitely got more of those pillars and auras. We got two monocle and two insignia this time. That's awesome. That's a that's a pretty good pull. I'm pretty happy about that. Only two soul stones for this time. That okay, this was our worst pull. We had almost no epics and quite a lot of lower end um, pulls altogether. Okay, two monocles. That's good. And then we'll finish it out with our remaining 2100 and see what we get. And we still got a monocle from that. So I think the skip ball did pretty good in comparison to most of our pulls. Let's see how far we're able to upgrade these treasures now. We can get this to level 7, which is awesome. And our monocle we can get from level 6 to level 7. And then again from level 7 to level 8. So we are nearing the point where that can get maxed out. And that's very exciting. Let's see what our mileage is at, though. See if we should wait for March 25th or if we should go 19,000. 324 tickets. Yeah, I think we'll wait because what's going to happen is when we get to the cookies and we go to pull, we've already got all these maxed out, so we're just going to get guaranteed mileage from the gotchas when we pull for these on the 25th. So I think we'll wait and see what we can get when it comes to Carmel Arrow's update. Let me know if you guys have any things you want to add in input in the comments. Any thoughts you had. Maybe you have a specific way you do guild gotcha. Maybe you do single pulls the whole way through. Let me know. I'd love to hear it. See you in the next video. Thanks.